Hello friends, this is Vineet. Welcome to my YouTube channel Tech Case Hub. So I have already completed a couple of scenarios, a couple of tutorials related to MS test and unit and also some, uh, how we can set up the attributes for X unit. So this video is related to uh, how we can do the parallel execution in X unit. So let's get started with the video. So I have already created the X unit project and I have already done the setup for uh, this demo. So what I have is I have two classes and they, all, they are extending to a, another class called browser. So in this browser class only I have my uh, launch browser method set up to actually run uh, when it is Chrome and when it is Firefox. So based on what the parameter that we give. And I have a two methods. So in uh, two classes. So in two classes I have two methods. So total four methods. And it will be taking a parameter as the browser name and then it will be running. So actually I will just change one parameter to Firefox and I will run uh, one scenario. So test sum and test sub. So you can see it's running sequentially the test sub is first loading it's uh, firefox So you can see uh, that it, it, it ran sequentially. So what the XUnit says that if the methods are in different classes, then it will be enabling the parallel execution. If it is in the same class, then it will be always going for sequential execution. So I am taking the test sum from parallel class and test uh, sum one from uh, the parallel one class. I'm just running it. So you can see both have started at the same time. So it's going for the parallel. And you can see two Chrome has opened. So this is the first Chrome. This is the second Chrome. So I have two Chrome running. So actually the criteria is it should be in different classes and you don't have to give any attributes. So by default it will consider and uh, it will run in parallel but uh, there is something that we can do actually if you if you don't want this to be running parallel what you have to do is like you have to put them in the same so by mistake I have run two test cases okay, that's fine <laughs> So you can see that uh, actually if you want to uh, run them sequentially not in parallel even though if they are in different classes then what you have to do is like you have to add it to a collection. So if you provide something like a collection then what it does is it will be considering everything under the same collection. And in this case, it will not be running parallel, it will be running sequentially. So you can see here, the collection is uh, under non-parallel collection. And I am given the same to the other scenario also. So I'm just changing the name to a different name like some like 
that's why I will be running this two test cases again so earlier these were running parallel but now I have given the collection uh, attribute over there so you can see now the first one will be running and then followed by the uh, once this is done the second one will start So, so that's how we can change the parallel into sequential and there may be scenarios like you want first the parallel test cases to be run first and then only the uh, sequential one so if you have something like this collection uh, non-parallel collection disable parallelization is true then what it is going to do is it will first run the parallel test cases then only it will take care of the non uh, then whatever test cases that is remaining it will be run in sequential so using this collection definition only we are actually uh, achieving that but if you give the collection a non-parallel connection that will be considered as sequential if you have the test methods in different classes and if you run it then it will be considered as a uh, parallel so actually you can see uh, there is disabled parallel session is true and false so based on that it will change and also there is something called max uh, for collection so I was trying to find out how we can give the uh, uh, maximum number of threads in the uh, X unit so if you are uh, trying for the assembly level uh, how we can have this setup in the assembly level then you have to make use of the keyword assembly the collection behavior and collection behavior dot collection per assembly and if you give a comma actually you will get disable test parallelization is equal to true or false and maximum parallel thread so it determines how many tests can run in parallel with each other if set to zero then the system will use the environment.processor.count if he if set to a negative number then there will be no limit to the number of threads so it would be always good to set to zero because let the processor take uh, the, the decision because it will be good so the processor knows how much it can take and all those things so this is one other way we can also set the uh, parallel mode in in x unit so actually that's all about how we can do the parallel testing in uh, XUnit. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Have a good day.